In the warm months, Lake Hopatcong in the state of New Jersey is usually bustling with swimmers and boaters. Not this summer. The culprit? Harmful algae blooms, or HABs, that caused the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection to issue advisories against going into the water. Local health authorities then closed many of the lake's public beaches. Jessica Murphy grew up on the lake. She says she's never seen anything like it. The closures hit her family hard. My daughter at one point was just like, started crying. Like, what's the matter, honey? She's like, I just want to swim so badly. And I'm like, we all do. You know, it was just, it was a little, it was a little heartbreaking. It was also devastating for many of the businesses that surround the lake. Sailing lessons were canceled and people were laid off. Seeing these marinas and restaurants and other things around the lake really, it, you know, it just, just kind of really be left empty on these, what should be bustling weekends. Uh, it was, it was hard to see. The New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection said the rapid spread of the bloom may be the result of heavy rainfall carrying nutrient-laden stormwater into the lake, followed by periods of warm weather. The cyanobacteria blooms can cause a range of negative health effects for humans and can be deadly for animals. Three dogs in the state of North Carolina recently died after swimming in a pond with the same toxic algae blooms as at Lake Hopatcong. Other areas across the United States have been hit with unusually large toxic algae blooms this summer, including the state of Mississippi, which had to shut down all of its beaches to swimming. Scientists say climate change will make toxic algae blooms more prevalent. Lake Hopatcong is a largely Republican district. There's been some resistance here to the notion that climate change is real. But environmentalist Elliot Ruga says people are coming around, in part because of this summer's experience. We're not the ones who are going to suffer from sea level rises readily, but, you know, um, climate change is not just confined to coastal communities, and this is an example of how it will impact us. But fortunately, there are measures we can implement. He and others are advocating for upgrading the area's stormwater systems to prevent phosphorus from entering the lake. Once they manage stormwater adequately, they have systems in place, I mean, they will last a very long time and uh, they can actually add other values to the community. And, you know, we can end up with uh, water quality in Lake Apakong that is better than even before um, the outbreak of HABs. Murphy is optimistic the community will come together to find a solution. I know we'll all look back on 2019 with a little bit of heartbreak and frustration, and, but hopefully going forward at some point we can look back and say, well, that was the year that a lot of really great changes were made and it helped ensure that we wouldn't have to, to face this again. Karina Huber, CGTN, Lake Hopatcong, New Jersey.